What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be going over how to install and use the Not Enough Items mod in Minecraft. But before we get into the tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notifications bell so you can get notified of all our new tutorials we upload, just like this one. Now, Minecraft is a complex game, featuring hundreds of different items and recipes, making it very easy to get lost in keeping track of all of them. Add Minecraft mods on top of it, and it becomes downright unwieldy. The in-game recipe viewer can be a lot of help, but it's often clumsy to use and doesn't contain any of the recipes added by mods. Luckily for us, there's mods to help with that. Many in-game item and recipe viewer mods have come and gone throughout the years, but a notable name that has stuck around is Not Enough Items. In this video, we're going to be describing Not Enough Items, explaining how to install it and how to use it. Before we get into installing it though, it's worth noting that because of its development history, there's two distinct versions of Not Enough Items. The version for Minecraft 1.8 and lower could be categorized as a standalone, while the versions for Minecraft 1.9 and above are just add-ons for Just Enough Items, another mod with similar functionality. As a standalone version, Not Enough Items is fully featured. It has a search bar, recipe viewer, control panel, and inventory saves, and works on its own. It isn't dependent on just enough items to function. In fact, just enough items doesn't even exist for Minecraft 1.8 and below, so there's less overhead too. This add-on version is a bit different, as just enough items overtook not enough items in functionality and compatibility, most players just ended up switching to just enough items. But the trouble was, it didn't have all the things that not enough items had, like inventory preset saving. Because of that, not enough items 1.9 plus is built as an extension to be added on top of just enough items, adding back those missing features. It's worth noting that if it's only installed on your computer, it's going to run perfectly fine. Certain small configuration features will be missing if it isn't on, installed on the server as well. Notably, seeing who's able to use features like creative mode toggle, weather control, magnet mode, and similar other features. But other than that, it'll work absolutely fine. And not enough items features will depend on whether or not it's installed as a standalone or an add-on. As a standalone, not enough items will offer quick and easy item listing with extensive sorting and searching option, recipe viewing, drag and drop item adding if cheat mode is enabled, and an admin command panel allowing you to change world server parameters without typing in commands like game mode switching, weather control, and similar other commands. Saving and loading inventory presets, and changing an item's enchantments on the fly. Our first step for installing not enough items is going to be downloading it. You can head over to Google and search up not enough items in your Google search. When the results pull up, make sure to click on the result or hit enter to bring up the results page. And then you're going to see two different results. You're going to see above 1.8 and you're going to see the below 1.8 version of not enough items. Regardless, click on one of the pages, whichever one you're going to need, and head over to the files tab and make sure that you scroll down to the game version part of the page. From here, you're going to see many different versions four different versions of Minecraft. There's going to be a download button next to each one. And you're going to see the same sort of thing on the files tab for the other version of not enough items. If you're going for 1.8 and above, make sure to head to the right page for not enough items. We're going to be working on a 1.12.2 build of Minecraft. So make sure to click on that download button and wait for the download to finish. Now, this isn't all that you're going to be needing, so make sure to head back and then keep that file. Then you're going to head to the Relations tab. Here you're going to see Code Chicken and Just Enough Items. Make sure to open those pages and repeat a similar process. Here I'm moving the Not Enough Items file to a folder where I can locate it later on. On the Code Chicken, what you're going to want to do is head to the Files tab and scroll down until you see a version for your version of Minecraft, then download it. And you're going to do the same. Head to the Files tab, look for a version that's compatible with your version of Minecraft, and then click on the Download button. The downloads will start automatically. Just make sure to keep those files. Then, click and drag the files so that you can move them into a folder where you can locate them easily later on. 
Once you've downloaded NEI and its various dependencies, you're ready to install it on your version of Minecraft. It is worth noting though, and I really want to impress on you that there are two different versions of not enough items. There is one for Minecraft 1.8 and above, and there is one for below 1.8 of Minecraft. Make sure that you select the right one for your version of Minecraft. Here I'm just showing you that there are two different jar files for this mod. You don't need to download two different versions of NEI. You only need to download the one. And for uploading to the server, what you're going to need to do is head to your main server panel page and then scroll down so you can find what version of jar you have. Here we have a forge server and if we scroll down to the jar file selection, we're going to see that we have a forge version of Minecraft. Now you can have forge or thermos or anything that can run forge mods. Scrolling up to the top, you're going to need to either stop your server. Once your server comes to a full stop, you can go ahead and wait for it to actually stop and then you can click on FTP file access to the left. Then log in with your login information. And from here, what you're going to want to do is scroll down to the mods folder. Once you're in the mods folder, you can go ahead and look around the page and familiarize yourself with it and then click on upload to the left. From the upload page, you could bring up the folder where you have the NER jar file downloaded to, and then you can click and drag the NEI files to the drop files here to upload part of the page. Once those files are done uploading, you're going to see a 100% at the end of every mod that you upload, and then at the bottom it'll say uploaded three out of three files. Once those are done uploading, you can go ahead and click on the name of your server at the top, to head back to the main page. From here, you can go ahead and either start or restart your server. And then you can hop into console to check on the progress of your server and make sure that you've installed everything correctly. Once you have, it'll say 100% of your spawn area has been prepared. And then it'll say startup done. And then you know you've uploaded it to your server. For installing on Mac, you're going to need to have the jar files downloaded already. Then what you're going to want to do is on the Finder tab, at the top left of your Mac desktop, go ahead and click on the Go. When you click on the Go at the top left, it's going to bring up a list of items that you can click on. You're going to want to click on Go to Folder. On here, what you're going to want to type in is tilde slash library slash application space support slash minecraft and once you've typed that in you can click on ok or hit enter from there what you're going to want to do is open up the folder where you already have your nei jei and your code chicken downloaded to once you open up that folder all you need to do is click and drag them into the mods folder and you're ready to play with NEI installed on your Minecraft for your Mac device. For installing on Windows, what you're going to want to do is hit the Windows key, and then you're going to want to type in percent app data, and then percent. Once you type that in, you can hit enter, or you can click on the folder to bring up the folder. When the app data folder is opened up, you're going to be looking for the dot Minecraft folder. Once you locate that, click into it. Here you're going to see your mods folder. Bring up the folder where you have NEI downloaded to. Once you pull up that folder, then you can click and drag NEI and its repositories and move them into your mods folder. And you're ready to play with NEI installed. For installing on CurseForge, what you're going to want to do is find a mod pack that you would like. Now you can click on this mod pack and then you can find the three little dots to the right and open the folder. This is one way to do it, or you can head back and you can just right click on the mod pack and then open folder. Once this folder is open up, you're going to see a mods folder. What you're going to want to do then is bring up the folder where you have any items downloaded to, and then click and drag those files into the mods folder and you're ready to play with any I installed to your mod pack. For installing on the Technic Launcher, what you're going to want to do is head over to your mod packs tab. 
From the mod packs tab, what you're going to want to do is pick a mod pack that you already have installed. Then you can click on the mod pack options wheel at the top right, and then to the right of the installation, you're going to see a button that says open. Go ahead and click on that. From there, you're going to see a mods folder. What you're going to want to do is bring up the folder where you have NEI downloaded to, and click and drag all the files you need to move over, and drop it into the mods folder. And then you're ready to play with NEI installed onto your Technic mod pack. For the ATL launcher install, what you're going to want to do is head over to your Instances tab on the right of the launcher. Once you click on the Instances tab, it's going to bring you to all of the mod packs that you have installed on your launcher. Once you have a mod pack pulled up, then you can click on Open Folder. When you click on Open Folder, it's going to bring up a folder where you can then click and drag your NEI files into the Mods folder. And then you're ready to play with NEI installed on your mod pack. For the Void Draft Launcher, what you're going to want to do is pick a mod pack that you would like to install not enough items on. Then, to the right, you're going to want to click on Advanced. Then you can click on Edit Mods. This is going to bring up the folder where you have all your Void Draft mods installed. Just click and drag the NEI mods over to your mods folder for your mod pack, and then you're good to play with not enough items installed. For installing on the Feed the Beast Launcher, what you're going to want to do is head over to the My Mod Packs tab. From here, it's going to show you mod packs you have installed. Go ahead and click on the three little white dots, and then you can go ahead and click on Open Folder to bring up the .minecraft folder of your mod pack. Then bring up the folder where you have NEI downloaded to, and make sure to click and drag those files into your mods folder for your mod pack, and then you can play with NEI installed. To start using NEI, what you're gonna need to do is open up your inventory, and you're gonna be greeted by the item viewer. The buttons might look a little bit different on your end depending on the version and settings, but the layout and functionality is gonna be the same. To navigate through the pages, you can either use the previous or the next button found on the top of the item list, or scroll your mouse's wheel with your pointer hovering above the panel. From here, you're gonna see a bunch of different items that you can either craft or smelt. When you click on an item, it'll bring up the recipe. And then when you click on an item in the middle of the screen, it'll bring up what you can do to make that item or other things that you can do with that item or that you can create with that item. On the top left, you're going to see a collection of cheat buttons. If you're playing on a server, these can only be used by an operator. Hovering over each one will show its function as a tooltip. Pressing it will cause it to do its function. For example, if you change the world time to dusk, change the game mode, or heal the player. Likewise, underneath the cheat buttons, you'll find a list of item presets. By default, they'll say save, followed by their number at the list. Pressing save will save your current inventory loadout, and pressing on the preset button, now named load, will load it back in. For servers, this is also an operator-only function. Now, it's important to remember that mods are tools. Whether they add new features around to play with, extend already existing ones, or provide options for more efficient gameplay, they are there for the player. It's important to know your options and even more important to know how to effectively use them. And inventory mods such as not enough items are integral to this. Well folks, that's all I've got for you today. And as always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.